Yeah, so we've got our new um, 2024 schedule. Every time I walk through that door, I get to see what we have and what is going on. Um, it's so important that we align with everything we are doing this year and we have a clear vision because I'm ready to take over. I'm ready to keep going. I'm ready to keep pushing. I'm ready to keep getting bigger. And... I don't like Google Calendar, I'll be honest with you. I like to see what is going on. Um, and I want every single one of them days full to the broom. Everything. Every single day has to be full. Otherwise I'm not happy. I need a haircut. Daily gang, I'm just about to shoot a couple of videos for my university. And the boys have come back from one of the sites. University's just completely gone off right then. Um, it's live. Um, give me an update, boys. So, uh, there was on Tuesday, there was four lads uh, on site. Um, the floor where the steel is has been filled with concrete, so that's been done. Um, the kitchen and dining area has been fully boarded out, and when we was there on Tuesday, was half plastered and the plaster was continuing. Um, so what do you mean it's been fully boarded out? So on Tuesday it was boarded and plastered or part plastered? Part plastered. So how is it today? 95% um, they've got one ceiling to do. Okay, uh, so that's... It'll be, it'll be finished tomorrow. They did right. tell me all the skimming would be finished by Friday. Yeah. Um, it looks like they're on track. Well, to, I've only got one ceiling that. to do tomorrow. Yeah. Is it upstairs plastered? Yes, all done. Fully? Fully. Downstairs? All done. So they're moving at a pace as well, aren't they? Yeah, the only small bit they haven't done is um, obviously where the stairs come down. How many people is on site just? One, and only one's been there all day. Is that plaster? Yeah. Okay. Is there any materials on site? Um, so, I couldn't see any. Um, okay. So this week compared to last week, is there a big improvement? Yeah. As in what? Well, yeah, so I, can't, um, I, 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 I think I went there last week, didn't I? Last week, yeah, if you remember, um, the kitchen and dining area on the two parts of the wall were boarded. One ceiling and a little bit of the ceiling on the other side was boarded. So the whole thing's been boarded now from top to bottom, and we've got one ceiling left to plaster. Yes. Okay, yeah. so they have made some yeah. inroads. Yes. Have they uh, given you an update of what's going to happen uh, next week? Uh, no, so I need to speak to Gary about that. The, okay. uh, the man on site today is uh, oh, just a plaster in it. Yeah, he couldn't give me um, any idea what's going to happen next. Okay. Um, so I'm going to speak to Gary to get an update for next week. Tomorrow, uh, upstairs should be all skirting boarded out. That's okay. the plan for tomorrow. Okay. Uh, yeah, apart from that, there's not much else until I can speak to Gary. So they're moving? They are moving, yeah. They're, they're moving. They've, done, they've done a lot as well. To be fair, in that in that schedule of works with the time, that's pretty um, pretty impressive. Again, yeah. another one. Yeah. So so what about the um, actually we'll, just, we'll go on site time tomorrow. So the two we've been on today, one's finished on Monday, one's going to be finished in three weeks. That one's going to be about another five weeks, four weeks. Yeah. Okay. So guys, this is Cuds. Um, Cuds is um, learning. He's been going around to a couple of sites in the last couple of days, just picking things up, seeing what's going on. He's gone down with Dan today as well. Dan's learning. Um, and the learning process is very easy. It's very, very easy. Don't try and do too much at once. Just try and understand the process of a renovation. So understand how it works from start, from strip out to snagging. So you've got to learn all of the bits individually, so when you do walk on site, you can clearly see what's going on. And it's always important to have notes, as in, today is the 11th of January. Thursday, the 11th of January, I went there, there was like one wall, one ceiling left to skim. Okay, write it on a piece of paper. Then, go back next Friday, and see where they have gone from there to there. Now, not everything you're going to be able to see. So if they've done some electrics, they've done some plumbing, 
um, X, Y, and Z of the internal walls if they've insulated and boarded. You can't really see how much work goes into it, especially if they have to um, batten the boards out as well, because that's like three or four or five days worth of work. So the key is to understand what's going on. Especially Dan's been at a few flat conversions yeah. um, recently where we're doing multiple flat conversions. And that's a whole different process. That's a whole different process to your three, four, five bedroom houses. Um, and then he's also been on site to a few that have got double story and single story extensions with, with full on 200,000 pound refurbs. That's a different process to this. So it's just understanding it it's just understanding it and taking it one step at a time. So Kuds has been out three days this week. Yeah. Three days this week, Kuds has been out. And instead of bombarding him with a billion things, it's just this, 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 and this. We had a chat yesterday, he made a few notes of certain things. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not trying to make people become great in a very short space of time. It's just, this is what you gotta do. Keep doing it repeatedly for the next few, four, five, six, seven weeks, then we'll add something else. And then do that again, and we'll add something else. I think it's the best way to grow. Slow and steady. Um, I'll deal with all the shit that needs dealing with quick. Everything else, I want my team to be comfortable around, around the environments that they're in. And also dealing with the contractors, just having conversations. You're really good at it because you know all of them anyway. Um, you're quite shy. So to end it, I need to record, and it's late. I'm not going to finish till eight o'clock, and then I've got an hour and five minute journey home, and then I've got work at home, um, and I'm also on a university live tonight. So, yeehaw! The 52 week course is here. The best property education course ever created in the entire UK. It has been brought to you by me, an active property developer. 52 weeks of learning. Every single week, you will receive a video on a topic about your property journey from A to Z. Once a month, you get to meet up with me and come around my sites. And then on top of that, you get a monthly Zoom directly with me and the group to ask any questions that you guys need answers to. 52 weeks of the best property education in the UK today. Daily gang, it is half past eight on Wednesday evening. I've just got home and straight into my office, I've got work to do. I've got a lot of things I need to get out of the way. Did a lot of filming today, did a lot of updates today. It's been a great day. Let me touch upon my deal, sourcing division first. Huge shout out to the three boys. They have secured a deal. Got a second one that's secured, but it looks like the investor is struggling a little bit with it um, due to unforeseen circumstances. So that might be gone to another person. Shout out to them, well done. Um, yeah. Very, very happy. Deal sourcing division has gone amazingly well. I'm not going to shout about it too much at the minute because we have a plan. It's not like before. We have a plan with it. Um, got home and I am having to deal with just a couple of bits and pieces. Um, I have an invoice from my architect. So I'm just reading it. So this is what he's done for me. He's attended site carried out a full measured survey of the existing property, prepared a sketch proposal for the client's review, prepared working drawings, structural engineers, information for construction and building regulations approval, obtain a quote and submit building regulations to the building consents limited, liaise with the party wall surveyor and provide details. For all of this, he has charged me 500 pounds. I'm about to pay that invoice now. I usually pay them on a Friday, um, but I'm sitting here, I just want to get that out of the way and paid. Um, he's done a lot for me in the last couple of weeks and paying it today makes no difference to his life whatsoever. But because I have him set up and he comes from a different account to what like joint ventures and funds for builders come from, then I can just literally um, get that done right now. Then I also have an email which I need... Um, to respond to based on some drawings that have been done that are about to be submitted on the portal. 
don't know whether I'm happy with it, to be honest with you. I think I need to change like two or three things. So that's going to happen right now. Then I have new quotes for the gardens. So the new quote, do you remember the quote was 24,000 pounds? Well, the new quote has come in at 16,000. So we've saved 8,000 pounds there. Now, how have I saved 8,000 pounds on a quote that was 24? Well, there's still about 3,000 pound in VAT, 2,666 pound. But the tarmac on the driveway is coming in at just under 9K. The step bill's coming to put 150. I've had feather edge fencing instead of having a brick wall built. That's coming in at 2,000 pounds. Um, and then obviously there's lots of decorative chippings because I've made some of the drive a bit more of a feature instead of having it all tarmac and that's coming at two and a half grand. So I've managed to save £8,000 on that one. And then the next one, which was the back garden, I've got that down to 8000 So feather edge fencing around the whole perimeter of the back garden is coming in at 2400 Fresh turf for 720 Natural stone patios coming in at three and a half thousand, and then obviously I've got my bat on that fifteen hundred quid, so eight thousand seventy six. Happy with them. So, so we have that now. I've saved to a uh, ten thousand pound overall on the job, which is a huge saving. And these guys who are doing my landscaping at the moment, they attended an event at eighteen one hundred three Colmore Road next to my offices. I had a networking event there that I put on last year. And they approached me at the end of my networking event and they said to me, Steve, we are landscapers. There's our card. Give us an opportunity. Well, they've had an opportunity on one of my properties, which has turned out 95% so far good. But they took that opportunity to network, turned up at a networking event, approached me directly. And now they're on to their second job with me. Um, so it pays to go out of your comfort zone, go to networking events and network. You never ever know what could happen. And if these guys do amazingly well, I have multiple projects that they can go and do. I have about eight, nine gardens that need doing in Birmingham right now, front and back. So if you think you base it on 15,000 pound, there's 120,000 pounds worth of, worth of work there that they could potentially have if they keep the quality up there i love my job literally love my job and the excitement that i've had since i've come back to work from christmas has been on a whole different level i feel like i can achieve anything in this world now my job is to go to work produce as much content as i can for you guys add as much value to your lives as possible make sure that my property developments are all work running smoothly in order to build the life that I want to build for my family and be better than I can be the day before. And if I can't be better, at least be as good on par because not every day you can, you can achieve, you know, more than you did the day before. And that's my role. That's my job. My objective of the day is just to get home, um, even though I get to come home and sit in my office and, you know, my son might be in another room with Isabella, you know, just being in the house with my family and just just knowing that they're here and I can hear Cruz laughing and, you know, I can hear Isabella doing a thing and she's always dropping something somewhere. There's always something breaking in my house. If she's not dropping Rice Krispies, she's dropping, she doesn't eat Rice Krispies actually, but she still drops them. She's dropping berries, strawberries, rice, you know, literally guys, Every single day, something gets dropped in my, my house. Every single day. Um, but just being in the vicinity and knowing that I'm at home, you know, I lock my gates. I'm in my world. And that's my objective in life, to get home. I want to come home. Um, because this is like my, my sanctuary. This is my safe haven. This is where I feel the most at peace. This is where... I come home and I look at every single thing I do in this world and I look at, you know, we make a hell of a lot of money and money's fantastic and you all know I like material things. But this, this is what makes it all worth it. Just being here, knowing I'm at home. And like I said, my objective is to get home. That's it. I wake up, 
I do what I need to do, whether it's 12 hours, 16 hours, 20 hours, even if I have to stay out for 24 hours, you will not find me sleeping in a hotel. You will not find me staying away from home. You will not find me making excuses not to come home. My whole objective in life is to come home, but whatever I have to do first gets done. Um, so yeah, so this is my this is my this is my safe place. This is my this is where I feel at peace. This is where I actually feel like everything I do in this world, because trust me, guys, I work extremely hard. I do a lot of stuff. I have the weight of the world on my shoulders in order for my family not to have the weight on the world on their shoulders. Um, but this is where I feel at peace. This is my my happy place. Um, so right now, I have to basically reply to all of their emails plus another 20 or 30. Um, and I'm, I'm going to sit on the sofa after I've had a shower with my Isabella and my son. And also, not allowed to sit on my sofa. I'm not allowed in the lounge and no one's allowed in my lounge at all. I have to have a shower, get out of the clothes that I've worn in the day, make sure I've got my pyjamas on and then I'm allowed on the sofa. But Isabella does not allow anybody into our lounge and I and she is not allowed to sit on the sofa unless our clothes from the outside are completely in the wash and we are showered. So even though I want to go into the living room and give them a big hug, I know I can't until I've had a shower. Um, so yeah, I need to go and go have a shower. That didn't make no sense. I need to go and have a shower and I need to get these out of the way and I will catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are we? Okay, thank you. How are you? All good. You've been driven here? I've been driven here. I've had to drive. Times have changed now, hasn't it? <laughs> you all done? Yep. Good man. Hi, good morning. How you doing? Hey, boss. How you doing? All yours, all empty. Big man, you okay, yeah? Have a look around, good thanks. You alright? Cool, okay. Very nice indeed. Very nice. Oh, wow. I've oh, sadly just been me. Phil, have a shower? Yeah, I'm alright. Hello, <laughs> this bath is. That is low. This is a very random house. How big is that bedroom? That was a bit aggressive. No, no, no aggressive. <laughs> it was pushed and he did something. I am the least aggressive person anymore. Uh, nice. Yeah, let's go and talk the numbers and see what, what's going on. Is it done? Yes, yeah. secured. Yeah. Um, lease the freehold is indefinite. We've got the freeholders' details, yes, we need to contact them to block that in. Yes. Um, the the <coughs> vendor said um, to the auction house it's five grand, but we need to have a conversation to yeah. get it locked in. You got the company? The, the company. Yeah, well, yeah, I've got the letters with all the details on. Um, comparables? So um, what well, we have the comparables, he's valued it at 222.30. Um, comparables are, what were the comparables coming out at? 225? There was one down the road that was 225. That, that was leasehold. Lease hold. Um, What's your thoughts then? So where are you guys at? We've done up three bedroom. I think 230. 230, With the three old. 230, 240. With the three old? Yeah. Okay. Those. And I know that there's a, this is a bit extreme, but there's a five bed down the road that's had an extension in the garage conversion. That's sold. Is your garage on this? Well, there's a <laughs> point. It's very, you very You can get out of that now. And um, that's sold for 375. What? Recently, I'll tell you now. It's a funny shout, though. Yeah. Does it go to the end, or is that the end? Because it's like two metres wide in, it's like three metres wide at the back. Yeah. There's a lot of room here. Yeah. So. With the stairs coming to there, you've got literally all of that there to add into the living room. You've got all that space. And then obviously, you've got all this. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, it's a funny I don't right? get what this has got to do. I just put just the door needs to go there. That's all this, we're not back. And then this is a huge space. This is just, 
I don't get it. It's a funny configuration, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll have it. Super. Oh, yeah, I'll have this. Um, I'll use this for the university. That's what it does. That's what we have yeah. here. Yeah. So. And I'll use the other one that we've got a viewing on next if we can secure that for the old university road. as well. Awesome. Yeah, the old one. Yeah. Um, sorry to any investors who are on the board. <laughs> but perks of having the sourcing division. <laughs> <laughs> Get the deals like these ones. Um, great work with Windows. Really. Um, we get that one secured today. Is that three in two days? Yeah. 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 Three in two days. Happy. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's no. There's no hold ups for this. Is that I can buy this cash? Not that yeah. we're aware of. I mean, it, all it is is the mortgage is in arrears. Yeah. Um, hence the three k fee yeah. to get that sorted. Yeah. Yeah, be so that three k fee is being added onto the figure of the purchase. Yeah. So it's one three one three six and not uh, five hundred yeah. plus three k. Okay, so what happens if they go into more arrears next month? Can we ask that question? Let's get it, let's get it secured as uh, sorted before yeah. that. You've got to find that out yeah, though, because yeah. there'll be another mortgage payment coming. Yeah. Uh, who's the mortgage company do we know? No, I'm not sure. We'll find okay. out. We'll find out. And who's the sellers? The sellers is in the, the agent. So no, who's the owner? The no. no. Okay, does he know? Yeah, it should do, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, great start to the day, boys. Okay. Very happy. Very good. All right, let's go on to the next one. Um, I have no plans with it at, at present. I've just bought it. Um, and I, I actually genuinely have no ideas what I'm going to do with it. I've just, just got a very good price. Um, and yeah, I've just, I've just been the first time I've seen it since we bought it. A shooting. Okay. A shooting sounds crazy in that area from what I know of it. Not, not any of this. I don't, I'm not from around that area. All right, well, thank you very much. What's your name, please? Okay, perfect. No problem. Speak to you soon. Bye bye. I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words. So, some lady has just called my office. I spoke to someone at the, someone at, from the team at the office. I said that. She saw me. She saw me at the property today. I have no idea how she saw me because I was in my personal car. Dan was in the V class, which has no branding on there whatsoever. Nobody's got any property circle or Steve Hamilton logos on them, have they? Has anyone got anything on them? Nope. nope. So she's rang the thing and said, "I saw you all at this the latest purchase, the one we've just been to." Um, so I've got her number and thought, well, I'll call her personally. I've, I'm very happy. I called her on private number. So you need to take that back off my mind, please. Um, and then she's proceeded to tell me that there's been lots of burglaries. She got burgled. There's been a shooting at the top of the street. Two, two people burgled a house and was being chased by the police at the bottom of the road yesterday or the day before. And somebody lost their life in that accident. They'd hit a tree and somebody passed away. Um, Multiple people on the street have been burgled. And then when I asked her her name, she was like, I'm not going to give you that information. So, Neighbourhood Watch is definitely working. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the phone call. I'm very surprised as to why you wouldn't just tell me your name and then next time I see you, I can, we can have a conversation. Um, I, I genuinely have, I'm lost. So that property that we've just bought, um, that's for the university, so that's another one that I can use for the university to explain. It's a, a standard semi-detached three bedroom, is it semi or terrace? Semi. semi. Yeah. Three bedroom, semi-detached property in the Midlands, um, just, a, just a very decentish purchase. Um, some good profit in there obviously, otherwise I would be purchasing it. But I also get to use it for the university to take people to and explain, you know, I have to have multiple ones at the same time because when people join I need to be able to go around. But that was a very strange um, yeah. Give me um, five minutes to drink my coffee and then I will run through the numbers and a breakdown for you. And then we're going on to the next one at two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Thirty minutes, about five minutes from here. Yeah. Yeah. So we might be able to purchase two properties in one day, cash purchases. Um, if you want to learn on the job JV with me on it. Um, it's below. So yeah.
Have you spoken to him, Jack? Yeah, I rang him on the way to Kent earlier, and he, he seemed keen to start for me. And okay. he's just said that about the refinance. Okay. Do you just need to find out whether he wants to be added now? Or he wants to wait, yeah. and then we'll move forward. Somebody who wants to jump on the bespoke investment list that Jay spoke to. So, guys, let me just run through that property. Kev got a call from an agent that he works closely with and said we have a deal that's off market, it's not open to the public. Um, it fell through. This is where they're at. They need 130, obviously he started with a different figure, but Kev got it to 136,500. And then there's an yep. arrears with the existing mortgage company. We found out that the arrears are around £3,000, which I've agreed to pay. So we're all in for 139500 Now this property is a leasehold property. So I don't buy leaseholds, you know that, I don't, I don't like them. But we have the option of buying the freehold for around £5,000. Meaning the value of this property before freehold was around two thirty. Now, with the freehold, conservatively, and being very conservative, 260 is easily achievable. Um, so, we've got the property, we know the arrears, we know the, um, the freehold. Now, I'm going to speak to my solicitor today, and literally in the next 10 minutes, she will take over the, the case, and she will contact the freehold, she will contact their solicitors, tie it all up to make sure everything is going to go according to plan, and we'll complete on this hopefully. I'd love to complete on this before the end of the month. I'd love to get this over the line. It's a cash purchase, there's no finance involved. Um, so yeah, another one sourced by our division. But like I said, when we was there, I had to take it. I had no choice. Um, and it's crazy because there's another one down the road, which we're going to see in the next 10 minutes that I think I'm allowed to take as well, if we can secure it for the price that I need it to be secured at. So, you're going to join me there now. Thank you so much. Cheers boss. Thank you. Appreciate Cheers. it, thank you. Driving down the road, and I could see a new development, um, that looks like a development like mine actually. And in the top window, I could see the LED lights that they've created around some wardrobes. So we stopped, got some business cards, um, check them out on Instagram, give them a call, let them do one of the projects that I need doing to have some wardrobes fitting now, see how they are, and you never know, it could be another great contact. Remember guys, I talk about it all the time, networking, making sure you have lots of people that you can call upon in different situations. And right now, I need to call upon Phil to give me some directions as I have no idea where I'm going. Yes or no? We got away with it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we took our eye off the ball trying to find this property and I dropped off the curb without looking. It made a bang and I was like, another one. Another one. Didn't happen. Positive thinking. 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 Positive thinking. <laughs> Hi there, how you doing? I'm man. You alright? Sorry, there's a few of us. Should only be two of you. There's already. Four people in here as well. Oh, you only allowed six in the house at once? Yeah. I didn't know that. We'll make sure we'll have to take it first. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We'll be outside, mate, for you. You went to site? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, obviously, when I got there, there was uh, nobody on site. Uh, it was locked up, secured. So obviously, we have access anyway. So I went on. It was having a delivery of materials whilst what, I was there. What materials? Uh, plasterboards. Yeah. Um, all the wood for the ceiling in flat three. And Did it look like they had enough plasterboards to plaster all four flats. Yeah, they've got uh, three three huge packs okay, being yeah. dropped off. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I went in. Uh, there is progress to be done. I need to work it out against my own pictures because there was no one on site to give me a full update. Okay, uh, good. So they had the day off? I'm guessing so, unless they are there now, but uh, I was there at 20 past nine and no one was there. Okay. Um, invoice has got to be paid down at um, Stephen Gary's. Yes. Um, they are the contractors, by the way. They 
are due six and a half thousand pound. So can you just go and see what's going on there? Yeah, of course. Um, Twenty thousand is due to AJ. So go down there. Yeah. Um, check to see where that's at. I've seen it, but I'm quite happy with what's going on. Okay. Um, and then Craig yeah. is due an invoice today as well. Okay. So just go and get an update of what's going on there. Take cuts with you, please. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Um, and I'll be here when you get back. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cuts doesn't look like he's stressed for sight. There's no high vis. There's no. Make sure you've got your high vis and your hard hats, boys. Uh, I've got Lee here, and we're going to be having a conversation about the website. I've got a very busy hour now, so just watch. Just watch. Let's talk about a new website. Would you like to see it? Yes. This is my new website that we are putting together and I think it's incredible. The man that made it happen is me. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, he's sitting right there. The guy that makes all of our website stuff happen. Um, but I'm impressed with that, very impressed. So, we're back, education. It's very important that these dailies have more education in them than they do anything else. So we went to view a property today. If you stay right there, that was the property we went to view. First things first, I'm a very confident human being. I'm somebody who can read situations. I'm somebody who knows how to deal with people. Um, quite thick skinned in certain situations. This viewing today was difficult. The person who was in charge of the viewing, who was from the agents was probably one of the rudest agents I'd come across in a very long time. And I don't go on many viewings anymore, to be honest with you. I'm usually quite fortunate that I get to go to the house with the owner or or even people leave keys there for me to look at them. And that's just because my journey's progressed. But I'm going to start going back to a lot of viewings because I'm trying to get the feel for well it's not even I'm trying to get the feel. I'm trying to get back in with the sourcing division to give everybody some like motivation because when I do it they all seem to do it and then when I sit back a little bit everyone seems to sit back so lead as you mean to go on come off the man come off the power Phil any idea yeah yeah we'll stick yeah, with yeah. that yeah, yeah we're gonna <laughs> stick with that so the viewing property was awesome great property um, I wanted it for me but what's happened is they want sealed bits so I'm going to quickly give you um a proper breakdown on here for you to understand this property. Now I wanted this property for my university. So the one you saw me buy this morning, it's for the university and joint ventures, education. It's These properties are great properties for people to learn on. That was another great one that I wanted. It was gonna be a cash purchase, or it is going to be a cash purchase, but let's run through the numbers. How did I deal with the agent? That's the key, education. How did I deal with the agent being rude I smiled and said thank you. Everyone was there. I smiled and said thank you. And when he said something else, I smiled and said yes, no problem. And when he said something else, I smiled and said yes, no problem, we'll do that. And when he said, can you please not have more than two people in the house? I was like, yes, no problem. You guys wait outside, we'll take it in turns. When he told me um, what you're filming for, I will explain it to him. You could see he had his back up, but do you know what? I smiled, I said thank you, I said please, and I agreed to everything. Do you know why? And no, it's not because I'm a little Do you know why I did it? Because he's a non-entity in my world. He is somebody that I will never cross paths with unless I'm on a viewing. So if I have the opportunity to cross paths with him again, he's gonna know next time I walk in, oh, he didn't react to how I wanted him to react. And it might change his way. And also with me being nice, it might mean that he's nice to somebody else. But to be honest with you, I don't think he will be. Guys, this is the one. Okay, so, first and foremost, that there was not the front door to the house. It was an alleyway where the front door was here. Actually, I can show you, watch. So if we go into the pictures, I can show you where the front door was. So we went up there in that alleyway. So here, so if you're looking at that there, was a door to go into the middle of the house. 
when we got into the kitchen. So there's the there was a door in the alleyway right there, and then in the kitchen there was another door to the back. So there's two doors. So there's a door here, right there, that come into the house, and then obviously one to the back door. Now looking at the house, guys, I can clearly see it's just an old house. It's just old, and I'm going to go the opposite way because it's easier. It's an old house with a decent sized back garden. That bathroom actually guys, I have to say, this here, this completely gobsmacked me because regardless of the floor plan, they have no bedroom sizes, which to be fair, does not shock me at all. But that bathroom was a very big bathroom. It was, it was, it was a lot bigger than I thought it was. The two bedrooms were huge as well. Two very, very big bedrooms. And I was quietly surprised at how big and spacious this property was. Um, so I like it, but it's gone to sealed bids. They're doing the viewings till the end of next week, and then it's sealed bids to see who wants it. Now, I want it. I really want it. So let's do a breakdown for you. Let's actually do a breakdown for you of how it actually is. The purchase price on this property at the minute is £125,000. Okay? The end value is coming in from multiple agents, and obviously I know the area. 175 and one agent actually said, 190,000. Remember guys, this is a two bed. So that there, to me, it's a bit of a reach, it's a bit of a stretch. I'm aiming more towards that one, and I'm actually aiming that. You could probably get that on a valuation. In that area, remember, it is in a very prime location, um, on a refinance, 180. I'm, I'm convinced, I'm happy. I think that maybe, maybe that can be done. So if we've got a purchase price of 125, we've got an end value of 180. It basically means that we have 55,000 pounds there. Sorry guys. Which means guys, that I, this is real life, this is my life, this is how it goes. We'll probably refurb this property for 40,000. I mean, if I really, use my teams around me, like really use my teams around me, I could squeeze this down to 35K. And for that 35K, what would I get? From what we can see, the house needs plastering. We know the house needs a new kitchen, it needs a new bathroom. We also know that it needs um, upgraded electrics, plumbing and central heating needs doing, decorating, it needs new flooring. It also potentially, well, I say potentially, it does need, it needs new windows and the garden at the back. It also needs carpentry. Might have missed something on there, but that's just me off the top of my head, okay? So because of the size of the house, guys, it's a two bedroom. If I was going to plaster that house, I could probably get that done for three and a half thousand pounds. Kitchen's gonna come in at three and a half thousand pounds. Bathroom in that house is gonna come in at 2,500. Upgrade the electrics is gonna come in at two and a half thousand pounds. Plumbing's gonna come in at two and a half thousand pounds. Decorating's gonna come in at about 1,750 pounds. Flooring in there with the square foot, I could probably get away with 2,500 pounds. Windows and doors, I'll probably get away with four and a half thousand. The garden, I think I could get the garden done to just a, a very substandard new patio and some turf and stuff and a few new fence panels. And carpentry in there, I could probably get away with 2,000. I actually think I might even be able to get away with 1,500 pounds in there. So, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So on there, you're probably looking at about 28,000 pounds. Okay? Now, if we take a 10% contingency in there, it's still going to take us just up to shy of 31,000. And I said to you that I can get it all done for about 35,000 pounds. And that's me working 
quite closely with the team. Um, there's obviously a couple of bits and pieces on there that will be added on there as well. But that means if I'm spending that, I know if I can secure this property for 110,000 and then I can spend 35,000 and then I've got legals and stamp, let's go to 5,000, my total outlay on this property will be £150,000 if it's a cash purchase, which it is, because it does say on there that it's cash purchases only. I know with what I've got on my end value, there's £30,000 potential profit, okay? So let me break this down for you now, which will probably help you understand things a little bit more. You'll probably, you'll probably understand why the BRRR method is one of the best things in the world. Now this is based on cash, obviously. If I get an end value of 180,000, and I am pretty confident that I will get an end value of 108,000. I am very, very confident, okay? And I have managed to get all of this done for 150,000. So that is my total outlay full. Now I can get a buy to let mortgage on a 20% deposit, right? So if I get a valuation of 180,000, 36,000 is my 20% deposit. So that is what I will leave in the property as equity. So the lenders are happy and I have some equity in there. Which means the lenders will give me £144,000 I can you know, use to refinance, to pull back. There's obviously a few fees on there and stuff, guys, and solicitors' fees and extras and stuff. So let's just say I pull out 140,000. My outlay was 150. This house will cost me 10,000 pounds. That's that's what it cost me. I can still sell this house, remember, guys, and hopefully achieve 180, if not try and aim it a bit higher and put it at the 190, what one the agents have said. And I can still make 20 grand, 25, 30, 35 grand profit. Or I can own the house forever for that figure. If I have borrowed 140, well, we're gonna, it's easy to round it off to numbers. I know what my mortgage interest rate is, but I'm gonna base it on something for you guys. <coughs> so let's say your mortgage interest rate is 5%. 5% of that is 7,000 pound. If you divide that, by 12 months, okay? And, because that's what you do, you pay monthly, every single month, your payments are going to be around 580 pound to your interest only mortgage. Because you want it to be an interest only mortgage, that's what you want it to be. This property, two bedroom, here in this area, they are renting for 1,050 to 1,100 pound, meaning, that you could potentially have a £500 uplift on your payment. You've got management fees, etc, etc. So let's just take your insurances and stuff out and you've got £400. That's what you clear every single month. So in one year, you will clear 5000 And then year two, you will clear another 5000 Which means the money that you have left in the house, you have it back after about two years. Now some people are going to be on my comments and they're going to be saying, oh obviously if the bathroom does this and the kitchen does that and this and that happens and expenses. Yes, of course, of course. Like that's just common sense. Something might happen, but remember I'm taking this all back so I've got three to five years worth of warranty on everything in this property. So for five years, I shouldn't have an issue. So I'm making £25,000 in five years, okay? And 10,000 of that was my initial, so 15,000 of that is profit. But the one thing, because of the areas I buy properties in, certain ones, I have that, which is the key. Because if everything goes according to plan, and I refinance this property in five years, just say, after five years, 
I've had £25,000 worth of rent, I know that I should have a capital appreciation of hopefully another £50,000. Meaning, I can pull that extra prop money out of my property and use it for something else while I'm also making that. This is how real wealth is built. Because it's not about the properties that you have today, it's about what you buy today in order for you to use in three, four, five, six, seven years. That's the key. And you imagine, guys, just imagine if you have a hundred of these. Imagine if you got 200. Imagine if you got 300. And yes, there are problems. And yes, some people might choose to sell the property, take the cash down, move on to another project. There's no right and there's no wrong. But one thing I can tell you, for a fact, the buy to let market is not dead. Not dead whatsoever. It's a way that social media make you believe that you don't want to get into longevity strategies. You want to do this, you want to do that, you want to go here, you want to go there. This is quick, this is fast. That's what we all rely on. But you know if you put a little bit of thought and a little bit of planning and you understand what's going on and you know how to use the right areas with capital appreciation, rentals, and you get the way the world works, it's pretty easy.